I'm in the process of making clamps. I've got the bars cut out and planed, nice and smooth, sized down to where they're supposed to be. The next step that I want to do is to make the sawtooth cuts into the top of this bar. And to do that, I'm going to be using a router. I've got my little trim router here, and I've got a collar, a little guy bushing in here. That's going to ride in the jig that I'm going to make in this video that'll help me do this. Now, there's not a whole lot to this jig. I'm just going to be making it out of some scraps that I have. The only tricky thing about it is that it slopes up 10 degrees to guide the router at that angle as it cuts across the bar. And to make that cut, I'm just going to do that on the miter saw with that set to 10 degrees. I know that this part right here, because I drew this out in SketchUp, I know it has to be 1 and 7 16 so I'm just going to mark it on here with my pencil and the tape. And then I'm going to line up the saw like this, kind of like by eye with that mark and cut in. So I'll be able to get right on that line and make that exactly that right size there. And then I'll flip it over and I'll do the same on the other side. All right, that's the parts that slope up. Next, I need to cut a couple of strips of plywood to act as the platform for the router. And I'm gonna make those from half inch plywood. Originally, I was gonna make this jig so it would cut one bar at a time, but now I think I can get away with two. The problem is, okay, if you try to cut all six at the same time or even three, they may not line up exactly perfectly and you'll get you know notches that are of a varying depth but I think it'll be safe with two if I clamp them together. Now I've got this stick that I cut first this is 11 16 of an inch wide the 11 16 plus the uh, collar bushing makes three quarters of an inch for the next cut over. The problem comes when I want to start these cuts though because I don't have a notch to sit it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two of these bars. One is going to make those first cuts and I'll just screw that onto the jig. And then the other one will actually sit down in the notches. And the difference between the two is the first one will have about a 16th of an inch planed off. So that the jig sits lower on the bars to make that first cut. And in fact, it'll be sitting at the same height as it will be when the next bar goes on to fit down in those notches. It sounds complex, but it's really not. Okay, moment of truth, I guess you can say. Um, I've got two pieces cut to the right length and clamped together on that end. And like I say, this will make the starting cut. Then after I make that cut in all six pieces, I'll take this off again and I'll put the one that's not cut out in its place and that'll sit down in that notch as you will see. But first I need to get a starting point and I know that first notch is an inch and a quarter from the end and I know the last one is roughly 31 and a quarter from the end as well. So, well. From here to here, notches or saw teeth that are cut with the router <laughs> and uh, three quarters of an inch apart. So slide this down and put it in place and line it up with that mark. It's sitting down flush with the plywood underneath. And I don't know if I need to clamp it. I probably won't. I would probably clamp it to start with and then I would uh, stop clamping at some point and just hold it. Feels like I can hold this, so I'm just gonna hold it and make this first cut. All right, that first cut wasn't deep enough, so I've readjusted my router to make another pass. I 
that's a lot closer. All right, that's the first two. I'm gonna unclamp these, set them aside over here, and get the next two, and cut. The idea is to cut those starting notches first, and that way I can make my changes to the jig and um, cut all the rest. Now with those starting notches cut in all six bars, I've swapped out that piece. Uh, took this one out. That's cut out on the bottom for the straight piece. And that'll sit down inside that notch. So I'm going to stick it in there now. And I'm going to make my cut. Okay, that, that works great. Uh, it's a little slow, <laughs> but uh, I'm not in a big rush to get this done, so better to uh, slow down and do it well than speed up and do a shitty job. So that's my motto uh, when it applies. Okay, well, that's it for this one. Uh, if you want to watch the video where I actually build these clamps, there's a link to that in the description. Um, the notches that I'm cutting here don't have to be deep at all. These are like a sixteenth of an inch. It's the geometry of the clamp itself that makes it possible to grip into this without having to cut in deeply. So that'll add to the overall strength of the clamp also, not a lot to machine, as you can see, just a straight swipe across with the router.